Hey guys, it's Rogaway here and it's time for another tutorial. And today we are talking about mockups. And what are mockups? Uh, in graphic design, and, and actually any design area, we need to help customers out to visualize what we are trying to produce for them. One of the easiest way to do this, one of, one of the easiest ways of doing this, is to create a mockup. And in today's tutorial, we're going to look at ways to make realistic mock-ups so that you can show your customer what you're creating and help them to see the vision or the idea better. All right, not all of us are visual, you know, visual learners. We, we can't all necessarily envision what we have uh, planned. So I'm going to start with a file. Um, to kind of to kind of get things going here, an easy one. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it with Photoshop, and this is just a billboard design. And by the way, I take no credit for these files. Uh, these are ones that I have found online uh, as good examples. I thought, anyways. Okay, so take a quick look at this file. It is a billboard for this doctor. Not sure who this guy is, but he is looks like cancer doctor here, okay? Some sort of cancer. Um, and what I'm going to do is, let's say this is the design for the billboard, and I want to share it with my customer. I could send them this file. I can hope that they're going to be able to get an idea of what it's going to look like. But along with that, perhaps I want to supply them with a mock-up as well. Okay, and the mock-up I have here today is this one. Now, proportionally, it's not exact to the proportions of this billboard, but we're gonna use it anyways. And so I'm going to open it with Photoshop. And this is a blank billboard. Now you can do a search for blank anything and you'll probably find it. If you can't or if you have to pay, then I recommend you just take a photo and just white out the area where the design is and put your own into that. All right? And how do we do that? The easiest way is we're going to go to our design. We're going to move it going to drop it in there okay and I'm going to command T or edit transform okay free transform sorry command T I'm going to just get it down a little bit closer to the size of the mock-up okay and okay, that doesn't look very realistic so what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit transform distort and what Distort will allow us to do is we can grab the corners and we can line them up to the corners of the original, well, of the mock-up. Okay, so you can see once I line up the corners, all right, now I hit return or enter, now it lines up. And it still doesn't look very realistic. So what I like to do as a last step is to change the blending mode to something like multiply. You get that little shadow and edge on there. Okay, so there's one. Super easy. And uh, that took, you know what, two minutes? And it gives you a good idea, or the customer a good idea of what it's going to look like. Alright, they're going to get a better idea of you know your idea by seeing it like this okay so we're good with that one let's close it off I'm not gonna save but you guys should the next one we have is a poster design okay and it, even though this is not a finished poster okay let's say this was a design that we just finished and once again we want to show our customer how it's going to look so I have this mock-up 
of the guy holding a blank piece of paper. Now you could do this yourself. You can hold a piece of paper of the size of the poster, have somebody take a picture of you, color correct it a little bit, make it look good, and use yourself as the mock-up person. That, that works too. But I like this guy. He looks really happy. <laughs> so we're going to go to the background in this case. Um, and with a file that has layers, Okay, like this one. See, there's tons of layers here. Uh, we're going to do a little trick. We're going to hold Shift, Option, Command 3. It'll put all of the artwork onto one layer. Okay, I don't know if you saw what it did there. It took all those layers, put them onto one, and now I can just move that one layer over and drop it in. Okay, so that was Shift, Option, Command E. And now I'm going to do the same trick. Edit, transform, distort. But we got a little problem on this one, which we're going to address in a second. All right. Let's just get the corners lined up first. Now I'm not going to go perfect, but obviously if it was yours, and you're doing this for an actual customer, you would want to be perfect. You want to get it as close as you can. Okay. And uh, let's set that blending mode to multiply. Now look at what happens here. We've got his fingers, and it looks like he got, basically looks like he got his fingers cut off. Okay, amputated. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set it to multiply, and I'm going to pull down the opacity about 50%, so I can see those fingers. And some people use the eraser. I prefer to use... Uh, layer mask so I'm gonna go layer mask down here click that and that's just in case I screw up I can always bring it back I'm gonna zoom in on the fingers and I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm using black uh, let's see, yeah, 80 percent is good remember the little bracket trick here uh, next to the P key to change your brush size and I'm gonna just paint out the fingers Okay, just like so. Whoa, I went a little too much there. So let's just paint out those fingers. All right. And this is, again, going to make it look more realistic to have some overlap with real-world objects. That's the whole point of the mock-up is to, to give them a real good idea of what it's going to look like when it's printed or produced the whole point of it and some people need that some people need to actually see it to be able to say okay yeah you know that looks good I like that so I'm just going around and around the fingers here painting them out this is somewhat I want to say somewhat painful because it is so manual I'm going to show you an easier way right away to do mock-ups. But we're going to go around and clean this up as best as we can. All right. Clean up all this debris. <laughs> Leftover pixels. And there we go. Nice. Command zero. Bring up our opacity again. And that looks great. You can even see the shadow cast by his fingers because it is on multiply, which helps for the realism effect. You know, making it look real, really good. Okay, so that looks great. Now that's going to really help somebody to visualize what this would look like when it gets printed. All right, which is the whole point of the mock-up. Okay, so save that. Let's close it. Let's move on. Next, let's say we're working in Illustrator. And we just made a t-shirt design. All right, so I've got this crazy vector. And I want to put it on a t-shirt. So maybe I'm going to screen print it, or maybe I'm going to vinyl it onto the, the shirt. Now, I could go and just do it. I'm probably going to waste a lot of material. 
I'm going to probably waste the shirt if it doesn't look good. So this is an example where I might want to mock it up before, especially if I'm doing it for a customer and they have no idea how it's going to look. So select the artwork, command A or draw a selection around and copy it. Go edit, copy, command C or control C if you're on a PC. And once you've got it copied, let's go to this one. Thanks to whoever created this on DeviantArt, it's fantastic. It's called TN Mockup Kit version 2. Link is in the description. And you got this blank shirt. All right, and you can see inside here the person has created these um, folders to help organize the, the layout of this, this file. And we're going to go into the artwork group. Okay, and there's a layer here called paste artwork here. Pretty straightforward. We're going to go edit, paste. Now because it is an illustrator object, it's going to want to try to probably put it in as a smart object. I prefer pixels, especially for the effects we're going to do with it. We're going to say OK. And it's going to put it in. There it is. We're going to get it down to about the size it would be on a shirt, roughly. Maybe about that. And we're going to hit return. And it cleans it up. Command zero, I just want to see how it looks close up. There we go. Pretty good. Whoops. There we go. Now there's a problem with this. Let's say I drag the artwork off the shirt. Well, that doesn't look very realistic. So for whatever reason in this file, what I need to do is go on that layer where the artwork is. I press command A to select the entire canvas. Command X to cut that out of there. And then I have to re-highlight the layer paste artwork here. Press command V, paste it into there. Now, when I do that, it now cuts off wherever the artwork shouldn't be. Okay? So this really helps to, you know, create an accurate mock-up of this artwork on this shirt, okay? So I can really mess with it, try to find the best arrangement, and then I know what size it needs to be, and I know basically how it needs to be orientated. Now there's a couple cool things within this file I just want to show you quickly. Um, let's just close the artwork folder now. Let's say that's, let's say that's the look we like. Uh, under colors, let's say our customer comes to us with a certain colored shirt. Uh, the person who did made this file literally has oh, tons and tons of colors for different shirts. So let's say they come and they say, well, I only have these like orange shirts. Okay, well, show it to them what it's going to look like on an orange shirt. That might change the design or what you need to do to the design to make it work with the color of the shirt. All right, so... Great little add-on here with the colors. I think that's awesome. They also have a less useful part to this. It's called backgrounds. And we can put our shirt on different backgrounds. I don't really change it much. But it's still neat to see that, you know, you at least have the option of putting it on these different backgrounds. For the most part, I just use Studio because it looks the best. Anyways, so that's nice. Okay, it looks great. We got a good idea of what the shirt's going to look like. And now we can measure accordingly and print and not waste a shirt. Great. So that was a little more automatic. Let's look at the easiest way of doing a mock-up. And this is great for people who are not necessarily super Photoshop proficient going to open up a logo here. These are the LRG logos. And uh, again, I take no, you know, I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything. I take no responsibility for this. It's just a popular logo. And let's say I just finished my artwork 
in Illustrator for this logo and I want to show the customer. Obviously I'm going to send them the artwork as is, but let's say I want to show them how it might look when it's printed. Alright, so I'm going to take this one. Okay, let's say this is the one I want to mock up. So I'm going to go edit copy, command C, and I'm going to take that and I am going to put it into Photoshop, but for now I'm going to leave it on the pasteboard. We're going to use this mock-up called Gold Stamping Logo Mock-up. Now, by the way, guys, these mock-ups, they're called interactive mock-ups. They come from a variety of sites. One of my favorites is Graphic Burger. So that's graphicburger.com. They got tons of free ones out there that are just awesome. So anyways, you look at this gold hot foil logo mock-up doesn't look like anything that impressive but this is a very special file okay what we can do with the top layer of this file that says place your logo here on that layer we can double click it it's called a smart object layer uh, it's a special type layer actually so I'm gonna double click it it's going to say, after editing the contents, save to commit the changes. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to take me into the artwork that we saw on top of that mock-up. I'm going to make a new layer here. And I'm going to paste my logo from Illustrator into here. Okay. So there it is. I, I think in this mock-up it doesn't matter what color it is. I have it green, but I don't think it matters. We'll see. Hit return or enter. And then I'm going to delete. Not that I have to. Well, yeah, actually, I do have to. I'm going to delete the layers below. So now this file that had that artwork on there becomes this new logo. And now all I have to do is close the tab. This is very important. Don't miss the step. I'm going to close the tab and I'm going to hit save. Okay. Now watch what happens. Look at that. Magically, my original mock-up file takes on all of the effects, all of the attributes of the original gold foil um, text that was there. All right, it takes that layer, applies the effect. You don't need to know anything about Photoshop. You simply find the mock up that looks good to you and it does it for you. It's fantastic. All right, and this is a great way to show a design. All right, it's very impressive. All right, so that's a great way to present a design to a customer. You're going to see those interactive mock-ups, man, people use them everywhere. All right, and there's a lot of really cool ones out there. So you can experiment with different ones. Anyways, that's about it for today. I'm going to leave it there. Save your work. I'm not going to, but save your work. And uh, hopefully, next time you're doing a design for a customer, include a mock-up. It's going to help to sell your idea. Very important. All right, thanks for watching. Till next time.